Thus I see the nail marks in his hands, and I put my fingers where the nails were, and I put my hand into his side. I will not believe. John 20:25. 20, the Apostle Thomas wanted to believe, but did he understand? Today's superpower is understanding. It is in the front part of our brain that we gather and process information. I know of three types of thought that we process. One is knowing, which comes of experience. This is that thought Thomas was asking for. He tells his friends that he needs to experience Jesus before he can believe them. He does not understand them. A second, thinking, comes from the processing of information without experience of it. This is what we experience as learning. It is the process that is present in schools. People are given information to think about. This is helpful in our path to understanding, but it is neither knowing nor understanding. In his book, The Twelve Powers of Man, Charles Fillmore quotes an interview with M.K. Weishart, who's interviewing Albert Einstein. Einstein says, Any man who reads too much and uses his brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. Just as the man who spends too much time in the theater is apt to be content with living vicariously instead of living his own life. Clearly Einstein believed that understanding came from within and is available by using one's own brain. The third type of thought is believing. Believing comes of feelings. It is often described as from within, as in, I feel it in my gut. I believe that feelings are God's voice guiding our beliefs. Unfortunately, through interpretation, feelings are often not understood, taking us away from the truth and to a place of misunderstanding. The Apostle Thomas tells us that Jesus says, Know what is before your face, and what is hidden from you will be revealed. For there is nothing hidden which will not be revealed, nor anything buried which will not be raised up. The Gospel of Thomas. It is when we trust our feelings about that which we know that the truth is revealed, our beliefs are confirmed, and we find understanding. As Charles Fillmore put it in The Twelve Powers of Man, so we find that there is in man a knowing capacity transcending intellectual knowledge. And after eight days again the disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in their midst and said, Peace unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered, and said unto him, My Lord, my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. John 25, 29 Thomas, in this experience of Jesus, is to learn not only faith, but to learn understanding. Understanding of his friends, who at first he would not believe. An understanding of Jesus, who offers us blessing in our understanding of him. When we bring together that which we think and know and believe and add to that faith in God, faith in man, and faith in the God who lives in all of us, we come to a place of understanding the essence that exists all around the individual thoughts.
In this we find the truth of understanding, and in the understanding we find peace. Let's take our thoughts of understanding into meditation. If you would close your eyes and breathe in and relax, breathe out and let go. Continue to breathe in gently, softly, and breathe out and relax. As you sit in this calm, centered self for a little while, we come to connect back to our understanding. One of the 12 powers is understanding. Understanding ourselves, understanding our place in this world, understanding that faith in what will be is a good thing. Continuing to breathe and relax. We let go of what's going on outside right now, just for a few minutes. Join us as we center ourselves in this understanding. We know what is ours to do. And we know in our faith, God is always there. We are always connected. Continuing to breathe in and out. We connect to this divine spiritual being out there greater in ourselves and around us everywhere. This divine being, divine order and oneness exists. As you sit in this calm, restful state, be gentle on yourself. Be kind to yourself when you feel that you're not understanding. The truth is there. It is all good. It is all God. And it is all in divine timing. We know this to be true. As we continue to breathe in this moment, we understand our inner world is the same as our outer world. When we are calm inside, we find calm outside. When we are understanding in ourselves, we find and connect to understanding in the world. And when we don't see it, we can still believe it is so. In knowing that God's good is the connection to understanding. Continuing to breathe in and out slowly. Realize this oneness exists inside you all the time. It is forever yours. This divine understanding. Rest in the silence for a moment and understand.
as you begin to breathe in again, gently bringing yourself back to the here and the now. And know as you release that this understanding comes with you. Breathing in and out gently again, wiggling your toes, moving your fingers, and bringing with you the connection to the divine understanding that is within and without, everywhere, and anything is possible. Gently open your eyes when you're ready and take your understanding with you today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for experiencing the Doubting Thomas in an understanding. We are honored to bring this to you. Please leave a comment below, share and be a part of the conversation. We love getting your comments. Have a great day. And so it is. Amen.